Belvedere County Cedars finished last year 5-17, fourth in the Skylands Conference Valley Division. The team lost a few wrestlers to graduation, but numbers are still relatively low for the squad. For head coach Dan McIntyre, entering his 13th year with the team, he understands to be successful, they're going to need to stay injury-free, work hard, and get the younger kids up to speed for high school wrestling. We're kind of inexperienced, probably uh, with 20 kids out. Eight of them have no wrestling experience at all. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of challenging as far as arranging practices. So, you know, we're big on the conditioning. That's important. Um, but we have a lot of technique to cover and just going over basics as far as stance and motion, setups, and, and all your basics that you do at youth level. Um, you know, it's challenging trying to challenge uh, kids like Kyle Blue who have a lot of experience and expectations. So um, we're just trying to, to work everybody. For Blue, he knows that sacrificing some individual time on the mat will help his squad in the long run. Um, you know, we got a lot of new guys, so I got to sometimes put them in front of myself in learning-wise and, and help them a lot in the room. Um, and, you know, I'm just pushing on the new guys. This is a young, scrappy Belvedere team, but numbers throughout the school are low. In fact, they only have 350 students enrolled in the entire school and 18 on the squad. So a key injury could wipe out the entire season and open a huge hole in the lineup. I still look for them to be very competitive with the same size schools in the area and in their division, but wins are going to be tough to come by. I think they'll finish slightly below 500 and fourth in the Skylands Conference Valley Division. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.